Tragedy struck the return of the Crooked River Roundup horse races. Eduardo Gutierrez Sosa, a longtime jockey, lost his life in what people are calling a freak accident. Max Goldwasser was at the event earlier tonight and spoke to some of his closest friends. Max, what did they tell you? Well, Lee, as you can imagine, they were incredibly emotional, but they did fight through the tears to tell me two things Sosa will always be remembered by, his smile and the color pink. Eduardo Gutierrez Sosa, or just Sosa as his friends called him, used to ride like the wind. And he was good at it too. The 29-year-old jockey had 194 wins during his nine-year career, even sharing the title at the Crooked River Roundup in 2019. But on Thursday, the wind is all you heard during a minute-long moment of silence in his honor. It's hard for some of us. Some of us just want to go home and not have the rest of the race meet. But we all know that Sosa being the person he is, he'd want us to stay. Sosa died during the event's first race on Wednesday. Witnesses say he was thrown from his horse and hit the railing, many calling it a freak accident. It's not something that usually happens. I mean, it's like a one in a million shot that it even happened. Sosa's friends called him a one in a million kind of guy, best remembered for one thing in particular. I don't think I ever saw a moment that he wasn't smiling and his smile was so huge. Turn to look to him with the smile on his face. Because well, he was always smiling, he always made us laugh. Sosa was also known as a family man. He had a wife and three children. They had just sold their apartment in Hermiston and bought a fifth wheel to move to Grants Pass. But his wife saw that dream and her husband get taken away before her eyes while riding the horse they had trained together. She was on the racetrack when it happened and I, my heart breaks for Rosa. That that's not memory, but her last time with him and I hope that she cherishes the memories that they had together. Fans will remember Sosa as the man who wore pink. It was his favorite color and his trademark on the track. So many folks wore pink on Thursday in his honor, and so did the jockeys, including Jose Figueroa, who viewed Sosa as more than just a friend. It's hard to describe, but uh, I feel like almost my, my brother, we go right for him today. And ride for him, they did, of course. And the donations have been pouring in for Sosa's family. Roundup organizers collected more than $16,000 tonight, and that does not even include the donation box at the betting area, plus donations made through the GoFundMe online. And if you'd like to make a donation, you can find a link in the online version of this story later tonight on KTVZ.com.